interesting to see what sort of men have been dumped down here this time. Hmm, mistress? Yes, I remember. I am not to tease them too much. I am not to play pranks on them, no matter how funny. I am not to confuse them into locking themselves in the broom closet for the tenth time in the row. Are you satisfied? Wonderful. Now here are the contracts you bid upon, mistress. With the surplus four criminals dying down, it looks like there are three this time. A pair of brothers from the coal mines and one bandit that was caught trying to flee the royal army. Seventeen times. Oh, you are so merciful and kind, mistress. Taking in the vagabonds from their slimy, disgusting imprisonment. Ah, here we are. <laughs> I got three, four, y'all. Oh. God's above. Forgive me, mistress. I got three for you today. Come on, you lot. You don't want to keep the lady waiting. Uh, are you my new mommy? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, they were such meetings to us on the train. The man hit me ten times. <laughs> all right, all right. So you know a thief when you see one. Guess I owe Jasper a tender then. You're convinced you'd be some airheaded broad. May I toss this one in the ocean, mistress? Touch Billy, and I'll make sure there ain't nothing but air left in those pretty skulls of yours. Got it? Hmm. Ah, of course. The lady herself. The Mama Mafoiza. As it were. <laughs> Name's Wallace. Wally to my friends. Baby boy to you. May I toss this one in the ocean? Very well, gentlemen. Please follow us to the boxcar and seat yourselves properly. My name is Lilith, and I am the mistress's most trusted companion as well as her personal assistant. Once we arrive at the manor, you will be shown to your rooms, provided food and beverage, and allow time to rest. Uh-huh. And what's the catch, sweetheart? The catch, mister. Roger Owens is that you will have to do chores. Terribly dreadful. I know. What, like shoveling coal? Breaking rocks? Like the dishes, Mr. Billy Owens. <laughs> Bollocks. I'd rather break rocks. Goddamn, lady, alright. I'll be happy with what I get. Damn. Sheesh. Guess some of the rumors are true after all. Got yourself quite the collection, huh? You rich bloods must be pretty damn bored to spend your days buying up contracts for good men. That your thing, little Miss Mafiosa? Having a bunch of burly men about to do your work? Damn. At least you're honest, sweetheart. Don't expect me or Billy to take it easy on you, though. There's a reason they call us the Hellion Brothers. And Wally here could kiss your boots if he wants. Fuck him. Coward. Hey, I know what I'm about. I'll start calling you Mommy Dearest right this second, gorgeous. Provided you whip me a little less harshly. Oh? Do you wish to spar with Mr. Owens? I see. Well, as my lady wishes, Mr. Roger, if you would come with us, please. Young Billy and Sir Wallace, we shall travel together to the sparring room, and then you two shall accompany me while I go over the rules. <laughs> You're in for it now, Raj! 
whatever. I ain't afraid of some classy dame. No matter what the damn rumors say. I'll take you on, toots. I hope you enjoy working off some steam with your new pet, mistress. Come, gentlemen, let us away. I am sure a mistress will return Mr. Owens in mostly one piece. Alrighty, sweetheart. You've got me to yourself. So, what? We fighting? Or are you wanting to see the goods, huh? As I said, you ain't gonna break me or Billy anytime soon. Oh, fuck. That was a mean suplex, sweetheart. Oh, you're really wanting to show me who's boss, huh? All right. I got all fucking day. 